This chart is crucial for aircraft design and performance, but how do you even read it? I'm an aerospace engineer and the horizontal axis is the angle of attack or alpha, which is the angle between the wing's cross section or airfoils, cord line, and the oncoming airflow. The vertical axis is the lift coefficient or CL. Assuming all other flight conditions stay the same, a higher lift coefficient means more lift. At low angles of attack, you'll see a roughly linear region where increasing the angle of attack steadily causes an increase in the lift coefficient. This is where the airfoil generates predictable lift. Lift. But there's a peak where the maximum lift coefficient sits, and pushing beyond this angle causes dominant airflow separation over the wing's upper surface, triggering stall in a sharp, sudden, or gentle reduction in lift. Notice that this type of airflow starts producing lift even at negative angles of attack because its curved shape, known as camber, naturally pushes the airflow downward, generating lift sooner. Compare that to a symmetric airflow, and it has zero lift exactly at zero degrees angle of attack, so its curve is centered. More camber shifts the entire lift curve leftward and generally raises the the peak CL, letting the wing generate more lift at lower angles of attack.